Jeremiah, you told me yesterday you thought your fitness was pretty good. You went out and proved it today. Uh, how did that race go down? And, and uh, what, what position did you like throw it down the last Utah, lap like that? I am totally, totally uh, ecstatic. I, I could, uh, there's, there's no way you can forecast a day like that, but I could stand up every climb. I felt like... The last few laps, I could just pin it, like the whole way through the feed zone climb. I mean, I didn't get out of the big ring, big ring the whole race. I had a little bit of trouble after a very, very good start. I got lucky and punched through the traffic early on. Um, just put on the road sprinter mentality and rolled right to the front. And then I was like, I don't want to be on the front this early. <laughs> and uh, settled in with with Max Everybody and Sid, and Sid snuck off the front with, uh, you know, just so the first lap, I think, under our belt, Yay, and, you know, Jeff and Todd Five were looking at each other, job, trying to figure out, we'll you know, what to do about it, and, yeah, I don't think Todd was really was, was that motivated. An, was that an attack, or was that just sort of, uh, he, he just sort of opened a gap slowly, or No, I know, I think it was a pretty concerted attack. He, I think he kind of uh, put, it, put it down pretty hard and wanted to... We wanted to put in a good ride here. Whoa. This is some turf for him. And you know, Sid uh, Sid was maintaining a pretty you know pretty consistent gap there for most of the race. And that, were you aware? It's pretty that big. It, were you aware that it was coming down the last couple laps and you had a shot? Oh, last two laps, I you know Todd was on my wheel and um, I'm like I don't care I don't care if I pop and get fit. You know that's the way you got to race to win. And you know if there's one thing I've learned that you know racing uh, conservative race. Rarely will you walk away feeling really good about it. You know, sometimes in a sprint on a road you can, but I say, what the heck? You know, either I'll get Todd up there or I'll get up there and, you know, what the heck? I gave it a shot. It, it looked to me like at times you were working with Todd. Was that was that the case? or was Absolutely. You know, Todd and I were raced talking about it? years. Um, well, you know, I think Max had some trouble back there and Todd was like, well, I want to wait up for Max. And I'm like, well, that means you want second or third, is what I'm thinking. You know, I know those. Uh, you know, I, I know those games. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna ride. I'm just gonna ride hard. I gotta Great. ask you about. You know, this is. I won't call this a comeback for you, but I mean, your, your emphasis has not been on exactly. Uh, you know, UCI cross country races the last couple of years, and you, you really dominated the long distance racing in this country. And, does this sort of change the plans at all for you this year or not? It could. It yeah. could. Can you think about it? Well, you know, really, I've been gearing up pretty hard for uh, Marathon World Championships on June 26th. That's my real number one goal for this year. And, you know, this kind of silences some of the critics to say um, uh, I don't have any leg speed left, but, you know. I would think so, yeah. <laughs> hey, JB, congratulations. Thanks, man. You know, it's, been, it's, it's really uh, great to see you do this. It really is. Thanks. Yeah. It was wild. It was unreal. I felt like I was in uh, some some kind of dream. I'm like, hey, what am I doing here? Off the front. It's really quiet. Welcome back. Man. Thanks. So, JB, coming to the West Coast, did you expect to have to work so hard as far as the course, or did you expect to have some fire roads and some drafting? Work, work hard. <laughs> hey, man, I was cooling down out there in the last lap. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it was uh, no, it was definitely a hard race, and I knew that my start position was going to be an issue. And you know, coming out here with hardly any UCI points, ranked 300th in the world, 308th or something like that. You know, I got a lot to prove. And you know, I came into this race with the mentality that you know, I don't give a damn how I place. I give it. I give you know everything I've got, and I can feel good about it. And if that would have been working my way up to fifth place by the last lap that would have been great that would have been mission accomplished today so I'm just I'm just really happy and to have Conrad and Aaron here I mean it doesn't get any better than that that's just that's just awesome unreal well great job <laughs> thanks